Some women say the view of women's history over time can be murky. It's mainly because there's a lot to celebrate, but there are still many obstacles, especially in the political arena. For women searching for a path forward, a look back at those who've paved the way can perhaps help bring the future into focus. Hattie Hooker Wilkins, a trailblazer in a male-dominated space. She took the opportunity uh, to run for really the first available election um, in 1922, and she was elected um, to serve on the Alabama state legislature in 1923. The first woman to break the barrier and shatter the glass ceiling in Alabama politics. Hattie Hooker Wilkins ran against Joseph Green, the Dallas County acrobat, and defeated him. And I think that's a great way, you know, for women to see that, you know, we don't have to take what is just given to us, but you go out there and you you work for it. Imagine a woman taking such a bold role outside of the home amid the uncertainty of what a shift like this could mean for the future of families and politics. The women of that time had a difficult task um, trying to na navigate you know, the public sphere and the private sphere, the politics in the home. Um, and so many women were told, no, we don't want you here. Um, and they said, but we have a right to be here. And I think that's the biggest takeaway from Hattie Hooker Wilkins. Wilkins served as a Democrat in the Alabama House for two years. She focused on child welfare, education, and health care. She promoted a massive deal to make life better for kids. Um, it was looking to get $100,000 to be allocated for child welfare, and it actually carried 72 to 7. Today, women hold 24 out of 140 seats in the state House and Senate. It was uh, about 1937 before another woman was elected to the state legislature. Um, and even then, it was only, I believe, one or two. Uh, it takes generation before you start seeing multiple women uh, serving at the same time in the state legislature. Alabama ranks among the bottom 10 in the country when it comes to the number of women legislators. Nevada takes the top spot with the most. West Virginia is at the base with the least, according to the Center for American Women in Politics. What are laws for women if they're not created by women? Uh, if women don't have a voice in it, then how can a law actually speak to what a woman needs and what a woman can do? Hattie Wilkins proved what women could do by transcending gender bias and bagging the acceptance of many men in the House of Reps along the way. I think knowing these stories, you know, and that women were willing to step out of what was considered acceptable and normal um, is really important for women today. Yes. Here's another interesting fact. The home of Hattie Wilkins still stands in Alabama today. Take a look at this. This historic 1800s house is located right in the heart of Montgomery. Gear Whitney and his wife bought it a few years ago. He didn't want to go on camera, but says people often stop here along Dallas Avenue to see it. We discovered who owned the house and her history. Then it became a responsibility that I was more than happy to take on to ensure that the house maintained the integrity that it for original purposes, as well as to preserve that history, because there's only one time that you'll ever have somebody who broke the barriers that she broke at the time that she did, which was almost a hundred was a hundred years ago.